What's up, everybody? Um, I'm just trying to make a quick video, real quick. Uh, basically, uh, someone emailed me talking about. Um, they asked me a question saying, like, um, what does it mean to be true to yourself? Because apparently, I guess the question in itself wasn't really irre relevant enough for him to even answer it. So he asked me for advice. So I decided to make a vid to, to you the answer to do his question. Um, I will send the I will send the video link to him. So just bear with me with this. Um, just to dwell into his backstory a little bit, I guess. Um, you know, he's kind of a loner, and he guess he wants to. Um, I guess he recently has a girl in, in you know around his way that I guess liked him and stuff. And but I guess he was trying to be someone different, or I guess someone cool. I guess being himself wasn't cool enough to get this girl's attention. So he's asking me, like, basically, am, should he keep up with the lie of being someone else, being someone that he's not? Or should he be um, basically tell her everything about himself to the true extent and hopefully she'll still be with him? Now... Just to answer this question, because I, I I really find it really personal, because I had times where I felt like being me wasn't really cool, and watch anime, so, you know, girls don't really find that cool, so, you know, you have to, like, hide that from them, and they, they get to see the other aspects of you, but then it's like, when it comes time to you know, reveal these things, because obviously if they're a big part of your life, you can't keep that from them forever. Eventually they'll find out. And, you know, I mean, just to, just to answer this question, I feel like you should just be true to yourself. If she doesn't like you for being you, then, you know what I mean? I guess that girl wasn't really that great as well as you thought she would be. So... Be true to yourself. Because um, if she really does like you, and if she likes all of you, like, you know what I mean? Like, let's say you play it. Let's say you watch anime and you play video games. Like, if she truly likes you, that shouldn't really care because you're not doing, you're not doing nothing illegal. You're not, like, you know what I mean? You're not running from the law. You know, you're not just, like, it's harmless. At least to me, it's harmless. You know, now, bear that in mind where, you know, I mean, if you have a girl who wants to be involved and tries to make a, try to start a relationship with you, then you should finally make the time, you know, you should balance your time between these things. You know, I'm not saying you should, like, quit everything and devote all to her, but I'm not really saying give her less time so you can do your your hobbies or whatnot you really have to really find that balance now how the how to really find that balance it's like it should be really but you should give her equal amount of time as you do with these these hobbies you may have so um yeah that's it so if so if she comes if she comes to Understand you a little bit more on you know this is the reason why you play the game, this is the reason why you watch anime. Personally, it's basically for entertainment. Like if I'm bored, then that's what I'm gonna do. You know, sure I'm gonna spend time with her. Like you know what I mean I'm gonna go and do things with her. Like go on dates. You know what I mean hang out, eat out. Like you know what I mean just do what you gotta do. You know just to build the relationship. But you know, there's a time and a place for everything. You know, that's the that's the general. There's a time and place for everything. So maybe when she's not with you, or maybe when she's like sleeping, you know, just if you feel like you're bored, then just do just do those things. Um, I feel like you should just be open on day one. You know, as soon as she asks you, like, what do you like, or what what are your hobbies, what are you into, she just flat out. If she doesn't get the like 
what's the word I'm looking for? Like if she doesn't get the fact that like you like these things or she she can't grasp <clears throat> she can't grasp the fact that these entertainment things like you know what I mean if she can't just get it then that's just what it is because is it is it is there two things that can happen is either she rolls along or she just like not be involved with you or maybe just keep you on a friend level and still go out and do her thing or at least find someone else who she thinks is not gonna be like all about video games or all about anime so at first you know in my, in my past I, I had to hide these things but nowadays especially like a good while ago I don't even hide nothing like I let them know I go off the jump this is what I'm into but it's like I'm not like, like deep into it like that when I'm something to pass it um so for being true to yourself she like and if she deals with you if she's with you then you know for a fact without a doubt in your mind that she's there for you 100 percent not not based on the fabrications that you may have told her or showed her that made her believe that you're this fake somebody and yeah just be real keep it hundred that's that's just what it is if you do it that way then trust me you'll feel you'll feel a whole lot better you know what i mean you don't have to keep lying because you know everybody knows when you start lying then you lie to cover the lies you already told and then you have to keep on keeping up with these fake appearances of you not into these things and you know what i mean and then one of these days you just gotta get caught out like she might just open like me gave her keys to your apartment you open she opens the door and you know she hears gunfire and video games or bring fucking japanese dialogue because you know what i mean you're watching something like so you you just gotta just be true because as soon as she opens the door like if she she if she knows the true you she knows that's what you're about but I'll, the only advice I can actually say besides being true is just make time for her. Just don't dwell on these hobbies because eventually she's going to get bored. She's going to feel like you're not investing enough time in her. You know what I mean? So then you actually know a side, a side person is going to come along and just be like, yeah, I'll give you all the time you need. And every time she needs to talk to somebody or she needs to be with somebody, or hang out and try to have a few laughs or whatnot, she's going to go to this person instead of you. So, yeah, just keep on it. And worst case scenario is just that she move on. But then, you know, the best case scenario is just that is either she's going to be with you or you might find somebody that actually has the similar interests, you know, that has similar interests. So you can just do things together. You know what I mean? You both have the same likes, so you just do the same things together and it'll be like, I don't know, perfect match in harmony, I guess. So, that's just it. I hope it helps. Um, I hope it helps a lot. And just like, comment, subscribe. Just do do what you gotta do, man. And, um, and I'll get back to you. I'll get back to anybody who has questions, so you either can hit me up you know, do whatever. Like, I'll, I'll I'll try to respond the best way I can, the quickest, as quick as I can. So, you know, because I do have a life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I got a job. I got I got other responsibilities. So, I'll try to, I'll try to get back to you as quick as I can. And that's it. I just hope it helps. All right. So, I see you guys later. I see, and um, peace out.